So what's it been like just the last, you know, kind of walk us through the last few days, you know, for you, you know, coming off that win essentially? Just amazing. You know, it's a great feeling. Um, I felt like we should have, it shouldn't have been that close of a game. Obviously, Georgia's a great team, but I feel like we kind of let them sneak back into the game. But, uh, you know, just the way we finished and uh, the way our team stuck together, it's just it's an awesome feeling to be part of something like this. Coach Malzahn always talks about you know, the next day and, and kind of focusing on the day and getting better. It's been, it's been good to have an off week to kind of come down off of that one to, to get ready for next week. I think, yeah, I think most uh, most everybody, if not the whole team, is already better than Alabama and took that win in the past. Um, I mean, it was definitely something that we can reflect on after the season, after everything is over. Uh, but right now, I think uh, our minds are, are kind of on ourselves for this week and kind of a little bit on uh, you know the next game. But um, I think we're really ready to uh, continue moving forward and getting better right now. You're getting bloody noses and black eyes <laughs> and uh, hurting your thumb, all that. What's the most physical game that you think? Most physical game? I don't know. It's hard to say because um, I mean they're all extremely physical. I would I probably have to say Tennessee because. Um, the guy I was going against all day had his hands in my face. Obviously, that's where I got the, the bloody nose and the black eye from. So um, I think I would have to probably say that game. But you know, other than that, if it wasn't for that, I, I probably couldn't say it because every game is just extremely physical. You also said you kind of like that, you know, having the blood and that kind of thing. I mean, what was when that happened? What did you kind of? Uh, you just want to get back out there? What? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I loved it. I mean, that's, I was out there for about four plays after it happened. And I couldn't, I mean, I, you know, I felt it as soon as it happened. I saw the blood, and I just felt it rolling down my face. And it was just like, I don't know, it kind of felt like, it makes you feel like a boxer when something like that happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it, you know what I mean? So I was just, I was eating it up. And then the ref finally told me how to get out of the game. And I went out, and uh, the play I went out on, we scored. So they cleaned me up, and I was out next drive. But it's just, I don't know, that's full back for you. Did, you. did you break it or just bloody it? No, uh, I thought it, we thought it was broken, but it just got bloody and I had a, I have a deviated septum and um, some bent cartilage, but I mean, I'm fine, I'm good to go. So. Did, just that. Did, you ask, did you ask the referee how you managed to get that, managed to happen without somebody putting their hands to your face? No, I should have, <laughs> because uh, he was definitely in my, his hands were in my face all day. How did you get the black eye? That, that was just from, you know, when it hit my nose and my whole nose is swollen and all the draining, I guess, went to his eye. So it just was part of the deal. So it was just the helmet kind of pushed up in your, okay. Yeah, but I, when I hit him and he threw his hand, my chin strap slipped off. I think it loosened, when the hit loosened my chin strap and then it just slid up and all the force just went straight to my nose. Just about your blocking, Jay. It seemed like you've kind of taken it up a notch in the last five or six weeks. Did you feel like something kind of clicked? I feel like uh, the beginning of the season, I was having a little bit of trouble adjusting. And then um, whenever I had my thumb issue with the cast, I think that really hurt me because um, not being able to use my hand at all during my blocking kind of made me turn into a shoulder blocker. And um, that, I think that kind of kind of hurt me a little bit through the middle of the season. But um, I, I was still learning the offense and um, learning how to, how to get to those blocks. So once I got my cast off, I think that I kind of just um, – had a better feel for everything and just, you know, now I feel great about the offense and I wish I had more time and just a few more games because I'm really starting to feel the click now. Do you remember when you had the cast taken off? Like what your first game back fully healthy was? Uh, I want to say uh, Ole Miss, I believe. Okay. It might have been Ole Miss. No, it wasn't Ole Miss. No. Um, who do we let's see? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but but the, the responsibilities of the H back in this offense are a lot different than when you were just the, the blocker in the eye at Illinois, right? Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Um, I mean, there it was just put my hand down, line up, and run full speed into a linebacker. And now I have to worry. I mean, not worry, but you know, worry about um, getting outside the box and you know, keeping leverage and things like that. Not just an explosive impact hit, staying with my guys and stuff like that. So how gratifying is it? Transferring here and then going through the tough season last season to to, to get to, to go through a year like this. Uh, it's, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better than this. You know, it's my senior year. It's the best uh, college season I've had since I've played in college, and um, just with a great group of guys, the great coaches, and I mean, it's outstanding. I'm loving it. I'm just you know enjoying every second of it. What's well, Jay, how does it be preparing for one of the biggest Iron Bowls in recent memory? Uh, <laughs> It feels really, I mean, it feels like we're the same, like we've been preparing, preparing for every other team, you know, not really anything different, but um, I mean, obviously we have two weeks in the game, so it's kind of hard to say right now, 
But uh, we all know that it's, it's a huge game, and uh, we're going to play our hearts out. So it's just uh, <coughs> preparing like we normally do. What do you think this one's going to mean to you personally as the, the last home game and the lone senior on offense? Uh, I think that it's going to be um, you know, a special game. It's obviously, it's going to be a, a, special, a great atmosphere, and um, it's just going to be something that I'm going to remember forever. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What's been the biggest difference that Nick's brought to leading the offense this season, just as a whole? Uh, from last year or from just biggest difference? Biggest difference with Nick, I guess, as the, as the quarterback. Uh, I think Nick is, you know, he, he's really calm. Like, he, he's got a weird, like, sense about him because he's not confident, but he's not not confident, you know. So it's like he's not really confident, but he's, he is confident. And he's um, kind of, he's not quiet, but he's still a leader. So he's, he's kind of like a, a laid back, but he's, everyone looks up to him and, you know, he leads the team. And so uh, it's just, he's got a, I really personally really like that style of a person that is uh, to work with, you know. And um, other than that, though, obviously his ability, you know, he can, he can run the ball, he makes good decisions, and he can throw the ball. So he's just an a, you know, overall <laughs> great player. Where, where were you on, on the last touchdown? I was in the flats. So I was watching from the sides. So what did you think when the ball went over? <laughs> Uh, well, I saw the ball in the air, and I looked downfield and saw two, two defenders, and I was just thinking, like, oh, man, I don't know that. <laughs> and then um, I saw the tip, and I saw that it was, like, still, like, in Ricardo's range. And then I saw him reach out, tip it up to himself, and I was just like, grab it, grab it. And then he grabbed it. <laughs> like, after that, I was like, this is a joke. This is unreal. This is happening. Um, so it was just amazing. I've never been on the field or you know, in the stadium to be able to see a play like that happen. So it was just Awesome. What's what it like in the meeting room? Is the coaches going, you should have thrown up to Sammy to get a first down? <laughs> uh, there might be a little bit of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think that, uh, you know, there's some, you know, there's always some learning to do. But in the end, you know, we got the, we got the, the win. So, um, you know, but yeah, we, we definitely are continuing to get better. There just learning. seems to be something about Nick is better. He just seems to get it done no matter what. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's why everyone just, you know, we look up to him and, uh, you know, he makes a lot of big plays for us in a lot of crucial times. And so he, he keeps a calm, cool head about him and, uh, you know, he's, he does he does does the job when he's been done. Corey's had some big games here and averaging 10 plus yards. He was at Alabama for a little bit and now he's going to get to play against them. He's got a bigger role. What do you think it's going to be like for him next week? I don't know. I think he's going to be extremely excited. He's going to be turned up, I guess you could say. But, uh, yeah, he's going to he's going to be ready to go. I mean, he uh, he's definitely having a good season, and I think he's has a good role that he feels comfortable with. So it'll be exciting to watch him play. Yeah. What does it say about Nick that he can make that uh, read when the play is to Sammy and he just unleashes it downfield in double, almost triple coverage? You know, to a guy, what does that kind of say about him? And, and you said yourself you were kind of doubting it when it left his hands. So, yeah. what were your thoughts? Um, I, you know, I think Nick is. Um, I think he can, it sometimes can be an impulsive player, and not that that's a bad thing, you know. And um, I mean, maybe it was some of that. I don't. Maybe he he thought that uh, you know it was going to be a clean catch, and that Ricardo was you know he was going to outthrow those defenders. I don't know, but I think. I'm, I'm confident with whatever decision he makes, you know, so I just think that he's a go-get-it type guy, and uh, he was, you know, trying to get the job done. What what moment could you tell that the team had really, you know, solidified behind him, like you were talking about earlier? I think um, there was, there's been a few times, and Mississippi State was definitely probably the first time um, when we drove the ball down, you know, the two-minute situation and we won the game. I really think uh, that was one of the big games where Nick, you know, stepped up and uh, delivered a bunch of good balls that allowed us to win the game. And then other than that, um, you know, Texas a and was a huge win for us where our team really came together. Um, it was probably one of our toughest games just because it was in the middle of the season and we weren't really sure exactly where we were yet. Um, and so we, we needed to win that game and we, we did and we gelled after that, you know, so I think Everything since uh, since then has just been a con you know a continuing process of just coming together closer and closer. Jay, you and you and D are both kind of known as workout warriors. Have you spent a lot of time with him, with him in the weight room and all that stuff? I think D uh, is a little more excessive than I am. 
<laughs> and he works out all the time. Like he'll wake up before and before everybody and go work out. And he eats everything like healthy. Like he's extreme. And um, so no, we don't. I mean, we don't necessarily work out together a lot. But um, you know, we we definitely uh, enjoy the times that we do get to work out together. His yeah. off the field personality is he a little bit different than most defensive linemen? Yeah, he's deep, he's a really funny character. Um, he's definitely one of those types of guys like you have to you can't really explain his personality. You just have to be around and understand him. But uh, he's really funny. <coughs> he's got a lot of other talents that uh, are kind of hidden that you might not expect. Like uh, he plays in a, he plays the piano and uh, he sings and does stuff like that. So uh, he's he's definitely a really cool guy. That, but you know maybe not all the typical DN personality you might expect from him. Is he a good singer? How good? I don't know, really. I've heard him sing a few times, um, and he's, I mean, he is really good, but not necessarily my favorite type of music, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, do you guys feel like you've got the best offensive line in the SEC right now, the way you guys have block? Definitely. I feel like we do. Um, I mean, every team that we go against, we get movement on. You know, I haven't seen anyone yet stop our offensive line from getting pushed, and um, I really think that they, they've come together as a group, um, you know, a little inside group besides the whole team coming together, but they've really learned to work together and um, understand each other. So it's just it's just amazing to see, you know, watch film and see their work. Trey said he was going to buy, buy, make him a cake, the offensive line. Did he, did he include you in that? Uh, I don't know, but he definitely will because I'll make him. Trey gives me a lot of credit, so, um, you know, he, he definitely appreciates what we do and um, knows that without us, you know, it would be a lot harder for him. Jay, how much have you thought about your own future personally? I mean, when Mel Kiper says that he expects you to be the second or third best fullback in the draft and has you in the fourth or sixth round, have you thought about any of that at all yet? Uh, it's really, I've tried to keep it in the back of my mind, you know. Um, I've just been trying to really just have the best senior season I could possibly have, and whatever that leads to is, uh, you know, bonus, you know. So, um, but yeah, obviously, you know, I want to play in the NFL, and um, I'm looking forward to see what happens after the season. but. Still really just excited about what, what's going on here at Auburn and um, finishing out my senior season. Do you what's you Coach you know, Malzahn like this week, going into the bye week, you know, you guys got to get a head start in Alabama? I think he, I mean, he's really trying to focus on um, fixing things in our, with ourselves first, you know, getting things exactly right, stances, fits, stuff like that. And, um, you know, we're still working on Bama a little bit, but mainly um, just trying to get ourselves right. And, um, you know, he's, he's just, He's been the same coach that he's been. You know. <clears throat> how much, how different is he, like in the locker room after a game, preferably I guess a win, compared to like you see during the practices when he's focused and kind of you know in gear. Yeah, it's almost a different person in my opinion. Uh, he, he in practice and during the game, you know, he's definitely zoned in and uh, extremely focused. And uh, but after a game, after a win, he's like. He's high-fiving everybody, running around the locker room, almost like a like little kid, just so happy. And um, you know that's awesome for us to see that like he's happy because it, it's almost like a reward for us that you know, like we we did something like really good. You know, so um, it's it's awesome after a win to see him in the locker room. It's, it, I really like it. Is boom his favorite word? <laughs> Seems to be. A I don't know. Yeah, I think he has a lot of little things like that that he just he he, he likes to say and gets stuck on. So, yeah. but it's definitely one of his favorites. <laughs> when you watch the NFL, is there any specific player? Do you, yeah, in terms of fullback or anything? To be honest with you, I don't watch a lot of NFL. Um, I, I just I don't know. I never I don't know. I just never really got into like a team or anything like that. So when I watch it, I just, you know, just sit back and see what's going on and enjoy it. But I'm not like, I mean, I probably could name a bunch of NFL players for you or tell you who's doing good right now in the NFL. But I've watched some games, but yeah, I'm not just, I don't know, I'm just not really into it. But probably because you grew up in Alabama. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably the big reason why. But do Jay, what, what, are, <laughs> what are two or three things uh, offensively that y'all can improve on during the off week? Uh, let's see. Well, I think we definitely need to work on um, our communication. Uh, there are times in the game I think that we maybe had a, you know some calls got mixed up and maybe some timing issues and stuff like that. So I think we need to um, you know work on our communication a little bit. And I would say um, like.
pre-snap type things, um, alignments and you know, stuff like that, making sure people know exactly what they're doing and how they need to do it. Because uh, you know, some players, <coughs> I think that that's extremely crucial and we may not be all the way there on some specific things. So just uh, you know, working on our communication and um, you know, alignment and assignment and stuff like that. And um, if we can get all that down, I think we'll, be, we'll definitely be able in a position to execute like we need to. You want to get a chance to go play in the Senior Bowl, anything like that? No doubt, for sure. I would love to play in the Senior Bowl. I've been, I grew up watching the Senior Bowl. Um, obviously, it's in Mobile, and I'm from Mobile, so that would be something really cool if I was able to play in the Senior Bowl. Have you gotten an invite? Have I gotten an invite? Yeah. I have not. Okay. Jamie, Jake was up here. He mentioned also, you know, being in Alabama and of how much this rivalry meant. You know, growing up as a kid and wanting to play in this game. So, like, what has this rivalry meant to you personally? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I. Like Jake said, you know, growing up, this is always like the biggest thing ever, the Iron Bowl, you know, Alabama versus Auburn, and like just really exciting. So I think that uh, that I'm actually being able to be a part of this is kind of um, a dream come true. You know, it's kind of something that I didn't ever really fully expect um, until I guess I transferred here, <laughs> and um, so now that I'm part of it, it's kind of like in my face. Now it's just, like you know, hard for me to believe. It's something I'll probably. Um, won't really hit me until I'm done playing. I'm like, wow, I was really a part of something like that. So it's just, it's really cool. And, um, it's going to be, you know, obviously a great experience. Are there signs in the weight room or anything, video playing that last year's games, 49 nothing, or is that any, any of that reminders to more that you No, I don't, I don't think that's really motivation for us. Um, I mean, obviously, like, we want to redeem ourselves from that. But I don't, you know, we're not really focusing on, like, how we played last year or what we did last year. It's kind of like, um, you know, this is our team this year, and we know what we can do. So let's work on doing that and executing it. Appreciate it.